Hello, this is Grace's Hippo and you're watching me play Assassin's Creed Origins in hard mode. In the last episode I'd seen off the hyena, which was a hollow victory to say the least. Right, now I'm doing a little bit of level upping. I leveled up everything by one level in my uh, gear list. So that's bracer, breastplate, uh, quiver, stabiliser glove and uh, assassination tool, knife thingy type stuff. So the quiver is now maxed out on five level 5, that's as high as it goes, all the others are on level 7. Um, and this part is, we're in Memphis now, I found a little underground bit that I wanted to loot and get all the treasure for. Uh, it's quite a way down but I'm not worried about it, just jump down and have a look around, see what's going on. Oh there's a treasure, oh there's also snakes and lots of fire. Ah. Oh bums. So there were a lot more deaths like that. Lots more deaths like that while I was trying to level up and get all these bits and pieces. We'll have another go at this little section though. Now, first of all, be more careful about where you're going to fall. Secondly, let's see if we can have a find of those snakes. Maybe set off one or two of those jars that are down there with all that oil in. So very flammable. Going down with a torch was a mistake. Yeah, come on, set a few off. At least we jump down there now. We wait for all the flames to go out. Then we won't die immediately from being burnt alive. Amateur's mistake, that is. There's another snake that I missed. And they take a bit of heat, health off you. Trixie buggers. We get all the loot. Lots of goodies to pick up in here. Very likely looking place, so I couldn't I couldn't let this place go without a good look round. So go around the other side. There's some more good stuff on here. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. All goodies. Oh, more snakes. Very reluctant to get my torch out as well. Hmm. Could be a big mistake. That's the last time. All those pots of oil seeds and more snakes. <laughs> Throw my torch at it. That'll definitely help. Oh, maybe it did. Much more to collect. Money and goodies. Looks like there's some more nice stuff down here. Down this way. Find that. Little ledge. Any more snakes. Is that a snake? Oh, 
find that stuff on the left hand side. Little glowy things. Give me them. Oh, it's only bits of money. Oh, all right. Probably got everything that's of interest down here. Where to now? This is looking way outy. Yeah. So we're in Memphis. We are going after the lizard is the next target. We have a number of tasks to perform for this st part of the story mission. This is called the Apis Bull, who has been poisoned by nefarious sources unknown. The priest has already explained that his pregnant wife is in danger of a third miscarriage this year. We've to help solve that. Uh, and the waters are being poisoned, tainted with blood or something to do with the crocodiles. So this is our target, the lizard. Later on, we go round to the healer's house to see if we can help fix the priest's wife's problems. Quick, help me dream my child away from death. Let us proceed with the ritual. Bring me the cauldron. So this, reveal yourself here today and answer me without falsehood. Let your eyes be open. Devoid of moisture, come forth from the stream. So this, let their eyes be open. Let your eyes be opened. Must keep my bearings. So everything we see now is part of a dream sequence that Bayek experiences as part of this quest to help the pregnant woman. What is this God's forsaken place? Is I've now here? taken over control what from the that? FMV and kind of we're just finding, really just running towards the only area that seems of interest I must keep here. It changes very quickly. It's very eerie. They did this so well. I love how they changed that perspective on those uh, statues as I'm running past. Suddenly feel really small. That shadow. That is the soul eater. So we're going to face down a, a big opponent. This has nothing to do with the lizard though, but this is the part of the story mission for the lizard, which oh, is why you you're seeing it. Who guard your portals, who swallow souls and who gulp down the corpses of the dead. What a journey I have made, the things I have seen. I am but one of you. This is an FMV is a nice little nod to actual Egyptian, um, ancient Egyptian culture, which was to do with weighing the heart against a feather when you die to see if you go to heaven or hell effectively, although they didn't obviously call it that. 
and it's to do with the um, the writings that they found on tomb walls in pyramids. So it was a fairly important part of their uh, death rituals. The heart is to be weighed, which is why one of the reasons why all the organs are removed from the body. But that's not the reason. But it's one of the reasons that became part of the culture. I'm just waffling now. I don't know if that's really true or not. I'm just guessing that is. Obviously, they have to remove the soft organs from the body to ha help preserve it. And the dry, hot, dry conditions make it perfect for desiccation. This bow is a pile of shit. I, don't give, I really don't care that it glows. Or that the arrows glow. Hated this bow with a passion. Anubis, Lord of the dead. Did that crazy old fool poison me? And I found it so hard to see this snake poison. as well. I really can't tell you how difficult this mission was. We'll be seeing every minute of it. I take the bow. I sweep the sky with it. The bow, um, the fire rate of the bow is very low, and the snake moves so fast, very hard to get on target. Very hard even to see where the bloody snake is. Where is it? You will not devour my heart. That little yellow flash on the screen at the top moves around is supposed to indicate where it is, but I just it, it didn't seem to have much rhyme or reason. Ooh. Those sections where the snake comes over the deck of the boat. Uh, makes sense that it goes very slowly as well. Missing. Got almost <coughs> no good hits on it. There he is. Oh. And he's spitting poisonous venom onto the deck, which is causing me harm. Every time I run into it or stay still to let him hit me with it. Yeah, it's gone into slow mode so that I can only get one or two shots as it goes over, slowly, over the deck. I take the bow. I sweep the sky with it. That was a good hit. Yeah, more like that. Don't stand doing the burning stuff. Take me down to nearly all. Uh, it's killed me! Okay, try number two. Anubis, it's a crappy Lord of the dead. bow of crappy crappiness. On the massive spitty snake that lives. Well, in some sort of sewer in a dream. I am he who drives off the destructive one. There's lots of afterlife myths which involve boats. Aren't there? The Norse ones. Sure, there are in ancient Egypt as well. That's why they'd have a boat in 
in the tomb of the pharaoh, isn't it? There you go, he's jumped over the boat again, there's bugger all I can do about it. Where's he gone? Where is he? I spent most of my time just looking for where he is. That's a nice hit. I'm beginning to get my eye in a little bit more with this boat. Not sure, but I think that if you hit those glowing areas of the snake, that takes more damage off, off it. But it's just so... You will not every hit is so snatched that you're just sort of praying to hit anywhere on the snake. It's not really time to be subtle about it. I think get and down to half health, together. that would be brilliant. Then it goes into a different section and it does a save point. Got actually got a hit on as it's going over the deck as well. Where is it? I can't even find it now. There he is. I am he who drives off the destructive one. We could do without the constant repetition of this dialogue as well. That gets pretty annoying after about half an hour of the same thing over and over. I'll sweep this guy with that sodding bow. You will not devour my half health. Half help. It's coming over again. And it won't let me fire off more than two when it goes into that weird slow motion mode. Of course, it's meant to be a tricky dream sequence. Finally, got into the next part. Angry looking bugger, isn't he? Don't even know why he's upset with me. You oh. will feel the sun god's wrath. No, it missed. Where's it gone now? Oh, he's back over there. And I'm being poisoned again. Oh, I'm sweating from the memory of this. This is horrible. Just wanted it to be over. It just seemed to go on forever and ever. Die already. That was a nice hit. I could do this in one go. I like that he's staying still a bit more now. But I don't like that I'm nearly dead. A lot less health than I do normally. Only six bars as opposed to at the moment, it's like twelve. He's double. No. Looks like I'm gonna die. Keep dodging, keep dodging. Where is he? Ah. I only had to touch it just a little bit, but I had so little health that that was enough to kill me. Okay, let's have another go. Where's that pillar? I want the pillar. There we go. Stay near the pillar because um, when he comes into the middle of the pool, he can be really aggressive. You stay by it, it's easier to use it to shield yourself. Tricks and bugger. 
Mist, mist, mist. Oh. Right, come on. You will feel the sun god's wrath. Stand still, you little bastard. Stop shooting me. Where's he gone? Alright, looks like this time round is not going to work either. So Just have a little tap, keep staying away from the very newly bits. So I'm not doing a lot. Don't run into the venom. That was a nice hit. Oh, that's three. Come on, four. That's more like you will it. You not me, destructive one. Ooh, nearly got shot as he was going over. Did get shot as he was going over. But I pay for it with venom. Stop putting your bow away, you great big... Oh, I swear to God. You will feel the sun god's wrath. Just die already. Of all the missions, I think I hated this one the most in the whole game. No option to change your weapons. I'm just thinking the reasons why. No option to change your weapons. They've really reduced your health bar in this. I am the great the time slowing down bugs the hell out of me. And that venom, it, it gets you so quickly. On the plus side, it looks really good. I'd like to say it's a, it's a very pretty sequence. If you're not actually playing it, it looks pretty. You will feel the sun god's wrath. There's no way to get past this without killing the snake. And this is, after all, only supposed to be a dream sequence. It's not even. Uh, the boss. This isn't the boss mission. This is a, this is a small side bit mission that leads up to it. This is not even all the side missions. I mean, if you compare this to yesterday's ep episode of the Hyena. Oh, and I've been eaten. <laughs> There's no bastard. Where is he? Where is he? Don't eat me again! There's a chance I could do this on this one if I stay out of his way. Let's see. It's over there. Come on! So during those animations, it also makes you stumble as well, so there's... I mean, you just... It's so a little opportunity to get good attacks in. I think for me, this... This... This mission, particularly, is, is weighted so far against the player. It's just not a pleasure to do. 
You don't feel any skill. You just feel like desperate <laughs> towards the end of it to just get it over with. I am the great one within his eyes. But the only skill really was finding ways of it not killing you. And then just plugging away at it. Plug and plug and plug and plug. Well, we're nearly there. We've got a tiny bit of health left. Come on! You could do this, hippo! But no, we have the earthquake, the little earthquake thing to, to have so that we can't actually do anything while that's happening. If that bow existed in real life, it'd be on the bonfire by now. Oh, he's nearly down. That's two more hits. And my health is looking okay at the moment. I will destroy you! Oh, yes, come on! Yes! Thanks for that. Stay dead, you little bastard. Well, this is only a small part of the missions that it takes to uh, go after the lizard. Uh, I've run out of time for today's episode, where we'll show you some more of the most interesting parts of that. And when we finally get the lizard, hopefully in the next episode. I've been Graceless Hippo. Goodbye. Oh.